What's bibbity boppin', ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode like 20 of me projecting and blaming the external world on my inadequacies. In this one, we're gonna talk about grammar. Here's the thing I know how to run my mouth, but I am basically illiterate, which means that I make a lot of grammatical errors that people make fun of me for. And I don't like that. I draft up what I think is going to be an absolute big brained masterpiece of a tweet, an epic poem on par with that of Homer's Odyssey. Then I hit the tweet button. Five minutes later, I'm getting clowned in the replies because I said ladder instead of latter. And do you know what? I'm tired of it. Nathaniel, why don't you just go retake that college English class you dropped out of? No, I'm not gonna. The hierarchy is corrupt, aka I'm too inadequate, inad ah, inadequate to compete in it. Therefore, I'm just gonna tear the whole thing down. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're going to figure out, here's what we're going to do, because this is a group operation. We're going to figure out if grammar is actually important. Everyone seems to think that it is, but simultaneously, I feel like everyone is being a little too insistent. Almost as if there's something to hide. Who is it that's pushing grammar? Who is it that has a vested interest in its continuation? Well, there's actually a group of people referred to as grammarians. A grammarian being a person who studies and writes about grammar. A.K.A the least useful person to have in any context ever. Do these people create value for greater society? No. Are they fun at parties? Obviously not. Would they be helpful in an emergency? Uh, no. Just imagine the proverbial, quick, this man is having a heart attack. Is anyone here a doctor? Except it's more like, hello, someone help. I'm writing a list and I don't know if I should put a comma before the end. Is anyone here a pretentious asshole? Seriously. Grammarians are right on par with wine testers. They both have elitist skill sets that they highly value that no one else gives a shit about. What do grammarians do all day? They spend their time arguing on the internet whether you should put a comma before an and in a list. But the funny thing is though, it literally doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can still read and understand the list either way. That's the thing. Most of the grammatical errors that someone may feel the need to correct you or anyone else on are completely inconsequential. Because the only way that you can really correct someone on their grammar is if you have a complete understanding of what they wanted to say. You completely understood them. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to point out that they were using the wrong form of there. But if you completely understood them, then why would you point it out? You're not smart just because you know the differences between the three theirs. I do too. I was just, you know, my brain, my... I was thinking too fast, okay? That was the problem. But if your goal is to get your message across as effectively as possible, cucking the grammar isn't really gonna do it for you. It's not gonna get you anywhere. That's not the most effective strategy. What do you think really wins? Talking eloquently or talking loudly? Seriously though, because I use a lot of big words that I barely understand in sentences where they barely work. And no one really ever calls me out on it. Why? Because I'm loud and authoritative and that's it. No one's gonna call me out for saying less when I should have said fewer in person. The only place anyone actually feels comfortable enough to do that is behind a keyboard. And we reached a point in the English language where we can all communicate so fluently by just throwing around internet acronyms that proper grammar really only exists at this point so that dorks who got bullied in high school can be pretentious pricks on the internet. And simultaneously, while the Zoomers and Millennials are slowly crafting what is effectively English too, everyone else, specifically the old people, they're getting left behind. We're gonna go over 60 internet slang words, acronyms, phrases, and other things like that that everyone who uses the internet should know. T-I-L, the face palm, DM is a direct message, the TBH is to be honest. That video was posted less than two years ago, and every year we've been moving exponentially faster. The accelerationism we've been witnessing with internet memes over the last 10 years has also been happening with language. And the old people, they just can't keep up. See, I don't fundamentally have an issue with rules and regulations for how speech should be conducted, aka grammar, but with grammar, just like everything else, I reject every authority that's not my own. And I didn't write these rules. A bunch of old people did. The same old people that are raking in the dough with overpriced textbooks and online grammar checkers. So, how about instead of simping for the old people and their grammar rules, how about we just continue to destroy and butcher the English language until it's completely unrecognizable? You know that structure that was used to create every single piece of important literature and writing ever? We could just burn that to the ground if we wanted to. Might be kind of fun. These grammarians make me cringe. So I put no period at the end of my run on sentences. It less of a sin. If I should have said fewer or should have said then. 
Thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, reject commas, embrace run-on sentences. Run-on sentence nationalism. I'll be waiting on the tweet, Trevor.